welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I wanted to show you a couple before shots just so you could see how dirty my porch has gotten through the winter months. And today we're cleaning, doing some DIYs, decorating, getting the space ready for summer. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the end result. Now, I started by removing everything off the porch. I didn't record this part because I figured that you guys don't want to watch me moving furniture. But now, I'm cleaning the porch. This brought back so many memories from my childhood. In the summer, my dad, he would always go out and clean the front porch. And he would say, Voy a repescar el porche. It was his favorite thing to do. He would he, he would bring out the bleach, fabuloso, the broom. He would sweep and literally clean the front porch with the broom and water, and also play music. So great memories. I thought I'd share that with you guys. So if you happen to be new here today, I just wanted to say welcome. I'm so happy you stopped by. My name is Ruby. I am a mom of one toddler boy and a teen girl. And I enjoy decorating my home, doing DIYs and traveling. But I just wanted to say I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you like what you see today, please make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below. So as I said earlier, this was what my father would do in the summer and I see why he enjoyed it. I started working on the porch at 8 in the morning, the birds were chirping, there was this fresh, perfect breeze so you could smell the fresh scent of the Fabuloso plus it felt so good to take care of the outside of my home. Isn't that so satisfying to see all that gunk come off? I'm just going to rinse all that off, then clean the fence around the porch. I've been wanting to redo my porch since March, so I'm so glad and so excited to finally do this. I just decided to buy something for the porch and then that motivated me to keep going. So if you have a project in mind, I suggest you just start with something and you'll most likely keep going. So wouldn't this be such a cool superpower to have as a mom? If you could have a superpower, what would it be?
got a little late start, but. <laughs> So my daughter decided to help me hose down the fence. Any little time that I get with her, I appreciate so much. She's always so busy doing homework or playing video games, you know, living the life of a teenager. But I love her to death. I love my piranhas so much. She's such a sweet kid. So after cleaning the fence, I started to clean the chairs which I haven't been cleaning the whole winter season. So here I have my son just filling the bucket a little bit more for me. He had filled it a little for me, but it wasn't filled to the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start scrubbing down those chairs. I think he can, he, he'll be cold down. You think that too, Dad? So that was my son. He kept giving our dog Leo water. It was extremely hot today. So he just kept filling that clear bottle that you saw in the previous video with water and giving it to him. He was so proud of himself. So was I and his dad. And I just think that it's so thoughtful of him and so caring. It's much later in the day after cleaning the chairs we went inside ate lunch relaxed a little and I changed my clothes as you can imagine I was wet from cleaning the porch and my son had sprayed me with the hose early in the day anyways I was searching for new cushions for my seats but they were all too small and if they were somewhat close to the measurements they were expensive like close to $200 and I was not paying that so I decided to spray paint them and ended up paying 12 bucks for three cans of spray paint. And I feel like they came out a beautiful. Stay tuned to the end so you can see what the cushions came out like. So while I was spray painting the cushions, Eddie was painting the porch. We had some leftover paint from last year that we used for the porch, which was awesome and I just love how it came out.
So every year I try to add a plant or two to the front of my yard and the plant that I added is the orange rocket barberry that's this one right here you just seen me plant it in the previous video and now I'm just showing you what it's looking like so now I'm going to move everything in place then start to decorate I'm very much into the minimalist lifestyle so I always try to only buy what I'm going to actually use and what I love and that also makes it a lot easier to clean your home I bought these pillows from Lowe's and the two black ones, they were $30 I believe. And then the one that I'm going to be bringing out next, it's like a rectangular shape that was $20 to $24. And the two smaller ones were $20. And I chose them just because I feel like I could use them year round as long as I take good care of them. And because they have all my favorite colors, black, beige, blue, green, perfect combination. I adore them. This black table, it's actually an end table. My fiance had found it out on trash day. So he brought it home and I had planned to... Um, fix it up and try to sell it but I actually ended up deciding to keep it I spray painted it fell in love with it and now I'm gonna use it as a coffee table for the front porch so it works out perfect <music> All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the before. It was so messy and not my style. I am going to show you the after as well. I'm so in love with it. It has all my favorite colors. It's functional. I can't wait to sit out on the porch tomorrow morning, hear the birds chirping, and feel that fresh breeze while I just sit back and relax. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.